Five years after fire nearly destroyed Notre Dame, the famous Paris landmark opened its doors again in December 2024, meeting an incredibly ambitious reconstruction deadline. At the center of the effort was a cutting-edge technology that allowed for a speedy, safe and precise completion of the project. I went to college just a few blocks away from Notre Dame. So I was walking by, you know, every day. It's part of your memory and it's, you know, one of the things that's always there. This is Nicholas Mangon from Autodesk, a US tech company supplying cutting edge software to industries from architecture and engineering to car manufacturing to filmmaking. When the Notre Dame fire broke out in 2019, Nicholas says that the company was compelled to help in whatever way they could. We donated uh, software uh, to all uh, companies, uh, to all architects, engineers, contractors involved in the project. We decided to create a 3D model of Notre Dame. But that model, you know, would help to digitally build on the computer before you could build physically. So you can anticipate a lot of the errors, you know, early on and, and fail on the computer, you know, make mistakes on the computer instead of making the mistakes on the job site. That was actually uh, quite important because the, the President Macron said that Notre Dame needs to be rebuilt in 2024. Prior to the fire, there was very little documentation, drawings or plans of Notre Dame, which dates as far back as the 12th century. So the team's first job was to scan the building. We use a technology that's called laser scanning where you bring machines on a job site and then you scan all around you and then you capture billions of points. And then you move your station in many different locations and then suddenly you accumulate all of these circles or spheres of points. And then you take all of these points from all the, the different stations and it was uh, hundreds of them and you bring them in 3D in one single environment. So suddenly you captured a complete 3D model of point clouds. So there's no intelligence, but the benefit of it is you can understand exactly the current situation of Notre Dame. So you could see the parts that collapse. You could see where the burned wood uh, from the roof structure was, and everything was digitally captured and you could, you know, move inside the model and understand the current state. Once the building was fully scanned, Autodesk added it to their software, creating a detailed interactive map. And you can do a lot of different things with it. For instance, you could produce drawings automatically that could be given to all the workers. So, so that's um, definitely one thing. We could also use this model to test the stability of the structure at that time. So we could simulate, for instance, a storm in Paris and if the storm would have an impact on the structure. Also, when they rebuilt the spire on top, nobody built a spire in the last hundred years, you know, anywhere. Nobody built like this one. So the engineers wanted to know, hey, is it gonna stand? So um, as they had this model, they could also simulate uh, the stability of the spire with the different storm systems. The team used their software to also plan the stages of construction and help workers by creating schedules, improving efficiency, and predicting potential obstacles. The cathedral is built on an island, so there's not a lot of room, and there's no space to store materials. So when the trucks were delivering all the materials for the roof or any other uh, materials and equipment, they had to plan very, very specifically which day each of the trucks would come, where the truck would park, how the crane operator can unload the truck and move the materials in a specific location. Every phase of the project for every day was planned. And then they saw a lot of problems, things that were impossible to build. And they failed many, many times, but on the computer. They didn't fail on the job site. And they did it months before they started the, 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 the construction. Um, so when they started to execute on the construction process, they knew exactly what to do and what would happen because they did it digitally before. The reconstruction process 
also allowed for some innovations that the city of Paris had not had time to implement for decades. The inside of Notre Dame, but before it was kind of dark, they didn't renovate in decades because it's the most visited place in the world. So they don't have time to do any work inside. So now, because they were busy rebuilding the roof, they had a lot of time to do things inside. So using a model, you can actually put different light, you know, different lights inside the model and understand how the light will diffuse in the cathedral. Apart from saving time, Autodesk's 3D model also proved efficient in terms of accident prevention. Safety is the most important thing in construction because you don't want accidents and fatalities. The job site was changing every day or every week, you know, the areas where people could go. And they actually designed the path of workers for every stage of the process. So everything was done digitally again. For instance, you know, if you need to bring a heavy equipment through small stairs, they could do it digitally and they see that, oh yeah, I can take this machine through the stairs. I cannot take that one. Following Notre Dame's reconstruction, the city of Paris is using the model to also transform the cathedral's surrounding environment. We also scanned the entire island, including the underneath uh, structures. There, there are structures like a crypt that were never open to the public. And we created a digital twin of the entire area. And the city of Paris is using this digital twin. It's a platform that they gave to all the architectural firms bidding for the architectural project. Also, they are building new infrastructure to make Notre Dame more accessible to the public. And they also use, you know, a similar approach uh, for this project. Notre Dame's fire is a stark reminder of the vulnerability of architectural heritage. With climate disasters and conflicts raging across the world, digital mapping of historic buildings can ensure their survival in the future. There was, you know, some scan that were done, you know, before the fire that could be reused. And then they, they scan again, uh, you know, for what was missing and, and was still there. If some of these scans didn't exist before, they could not have rebuilt the way Notre Dame was before. So we, we think that in general in the world, independently of Notre Dame, different governments or, you know, for different landmarks around the world, owners should scan. So at least you have the memory of the way it was before. I think it's something that we should do, you know, for the things that we, we care about uh, so we can rebuild the same in the future.